nice bad working on this Mazda 626 with a screwed water pump. The timing valve is pretty big in the day. Um, yeah, good idea to get it top dead center on number one, get your tying mark sorted. So I've got those two pointing at each other there, which you can hardly see. And then down, I've got one on this gear pointing at the crank and one at this gear pointing at the crank. So that's all lined up. So now I can just pull it all apart now. One of twin cams. It's, it's been overheated a wee bit. The oil's a little yucky. Now I've marked the uh, timing mark so you can see it a bit better there. Cool. Oh, well, I'll do for tonight. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. Now I know exactly what I need to get. I do need a new radiator, but I have to find out if they can afford it. So I won't pull that yet. It can stay. Um, there, everything else off. Might as well do these heater hoses at the back there if I can get my hands on them. Oh, I'm getting this all together now. Got the new belt on, new pumps in, bottom pulleys on. So it's just going to give it a crank test. So I'll move the leads. These should not fire off because I've still got the crank angle sensor unplugged. There shouldn't be any fuel injection or anything. Um, goddamn battery shut itself, I think. I've had it on charge for about five minutes. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, the battery's bad. It's, uh, that sounds like the way it should. Give it another 10 minutes. Just want to give it a you know, two full rotations to make sure everything's good. I've done it by hand already. Um, yeah, so I like to give them a good crank, make sure the belt stays true before I put the covers on. Um, just my paranoia. I like to see things work before I put it together. Oh, that's about seven minutes later. Let's see if that battery took anything. So I got my monster charger on it, so it should if the battery's any good, it should crank at least two full turns. I'd say the battery's stuffed. Come on, you piece of shit, just turn over for me. Okay, I'm happy with that. That, that proves my point. Everything looks good. Just wanted to come back on the top dead center again so I can check the timing marks line up. Yeah, they're going to line up. If I hold the camera there, you should be able to see them. They won't be able to stop it right in the right spot, but you should be able to see it quickly line up for a second. That's pretty much lined up and it's just past top dead center. So, yeah, that's perfect. You can see it's just past it. So, alright, put it all back together now. Damn, I had cars like this. I just went to put the parkers on so I can charge the battery quickly. I'll explain that in a second. But, um, both the bloody globes are blowing at the front. The reason I put parkers on if I'm fast charging a suspect battery is because usually the battery won't pull many amps and this charge is a bit mental. You can put out 25 amps easily. So what I do, I put the parkers on to pull out any ripples or spikes in the voltage so it can't over volt and damage the xenon diode in the voltage regulator or the computer in an EFI car. So if you, you can charge a battery connected but just don't let it go over a certain voltage. Normally 14 volts is the limit. So if you've got the lights on, that'll help as a, a load. And it'll get the charger to work a bit better too if the battery's not actually pulling anything. Because when I put this charger on it said the battery was full. So that means the battery's stuffed. 
So if that rambling makes any sense to anyone out there, that's what you should do if you don't want to damage anything in your car. Oh yes, this also only works if you have a charger that's at least 4 amps more than what the parking lights will take. So if you've got a pissy little 2 amp charger, don't worry about this for a 4 amp. You need at least 6 to 10 to do this. Oh god, creatures around tonight. I just got attacked by this beetle that just crash landed. Smacked into my face and ended up here. Still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. There you go. Now he's on his back. Hmm. Head towards the bug zapper. Head towards the light. There's something special for you up there. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid animal. Oh, I kind of forgot to do the cold start video, but yeah, starts, runs, drives. It's hot at the moment, you know, have temperature. Everything seems to be alright. I didn't change the radiator because I couldn't afford it, so we'll see how long it lasts. I just did two hoses. Um, yeah, I put a second hand cap on it. There is a new one. Oh, well, now it's gone through heat soak. Full pressure, see how it starts. Cool. I'm pretty sure the head's okay on this one. Oh, I've come to pick up the uh, Camry with a blown head. It got really cooked. So, once I get the radiator cap on, I'll probably start misfiring. That's just all exhaust gases has made that happen. That was green a while ago. Well, uh, it's been sitting for a couple of minutes. I just want to see how bad the leak is. It might hydro lock as the cap slides down. It might hydro lock when I start it. You never know. Are you going to start for me, kitty? Oh, so cute. Let's see what happens. Uh, stupid immobilizers come on. Oh, bugger it. Had a world of hell with that. What if I fix it? Nah, it's dead again. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, that's on about two cylinders. Yeah. <laughs> 